Hello everyone, welcome to my first teaching memo. And as usual, I always start with a little housekeeping. This video will strictly be for housekeeping. I'm going to do three shorter videos so uh, you can watch them separately and you don't have to hang in there for a, a 25, 30 minute video. Okay, um, uh, I've <clears throat> I've received uh, many inquiries during the first uh, segment about the course and uh, that could be answered by watching one, the introductory video created by Professor Lampert Chappelle, my welcome video, or by perusing the course syllabus. Um, there are also um, other videos in the Getting Started tab. If you click on the link on the Getting Started, um, you will see there are also two videos if you go in the Getting Started tab and click on which discussion group am I in you'll see there's the ransom note and the quilt knitting and quilting quilting and knitting videos these are two videos that will, will help you with your discussion groups so um, I would recommend watching those um, I will always respond to your inquiries, but if the answer can be found elsewhere, I'm going to direct you there. So you should be making sure that your answers aren't in the syllabus or in uh, any of the getting started information. Um, I have and will be placing videos throughout the course. These are for your benefit and will help you get an A+. Remember, there are interesting items in each session's additional resources. So if you click on the additional resources tab, you'll see, and I've tried to um, move up the most current uh, session resources. Um, and you, if you click on them, this is session three, you'll see there's, these are a lot of things that have been added by your colleagues in previous, previous semesters. Um, so they will add to the discussion and enhance the discussion and you certainly can connect to those and you will be given credit for um, have, um, using those as one of your articles or uh, as a web link. So keep that in mind, additional resources. Uh, as a reminder, you are only required to use APA format in your initial posting but I would recommend it for any time you reference something not in the text. If you share a website or an article that we can read on the web, please highlight the text or link and use the link icon on the text menu. So I'm going to go into the discussion board and I'm going to go into discussion board sec session one. I'm going to go into group A. I'm going to reply to Jesse here, um, I'll reply. I'll, I'll hit reply to myself. And if you type in, what you do is highlight what you've typed. Hit, click the link icon here in the text box menu. You cut and paste your URL here. Click on this drop-down box and put "Open in New Window," and then hit Insert. That will highlight your link and that will allow us to click on it and go directly to it. If you watch, <clears throat> if I click on interview with Emily, it opens automatically. Um, if I scroll down and I see another um, link here, I can show you, okay, here's um, Paul Brown's. Um, one of the things you can also do is edit your post. So I'll go in, I'll edit Paul's post I'm going to highlight the link, control C, I'm going to copy it, click on the link, I'm going to control V, control V, My, there it is, click on open in new window, insert, and you'll see now that the link has turned blue, I can click on that and it will open in another window, which is what you want. I know when I click on, if you don't click on that open in another window, um, you have to you have to right click and then open in new window. So 
A uh, little information there about um, highlighting your links so, so we can uh, go right to them. Okay. Um, as a point of information, you can edit or delete your postings in the discussion board. I know in the first discussion board, I made some comments to people about not using APA format. I noticed that some people went back and edited their initial posts, which is exactly what I wanted you to do. You can also, um, you can also delete them. Um, I'll go into session three here. Um, you can also delete those posts um, or, as I mentioned um, before in the discussion board, you can subscribe to your post. Um, if What I would do is go, go into your group, struggling here, um, go into your group and you, you, you can't, as I mentioned before, you can only describe to your thread, um, let me go back here, I'm struggling. Okay, you click on your thread, thread action, subscribe, unsubscribe. Click on subscribe, and you should get an email every time that post, someone respond, someone posts in that discussion board thread. Okay. Um, lastly, I noticed several colleagues attempting to make all or many of their posts on the last evening of the segment. While this is not prohibited, <laughs> it certainly doesn't allow most of us to benefit the benefit of your wisdom or the ability to answer any of your questions. So if you're asking questions, um, they're rhetorical <laughs> if you're asking them late at night on the last day of the segment. And you can interact with me, which is probably the most valuable thing. <laughs> so don't forget each segment I provide an assignment video in the first session folder. So if you click on the session folder. I have rotated the most recent one to the top. Se session three, you'll see there's an assignment video. It's very short, about six minutes. Uh, but I explained the assignments for the two sessions. So um, I would say that was very important. So make sure you watch it. There are some of you, um, and I'm just preaching to the choir here, that did not post at least 10 responses um, and I will be getting in touch with you via email. That's it for the housekeeping portion.